Then a punch. These two knuckles right here. First, fingers have to be rolled tight so there's no space in between. So it's firm. Second, knuckles have to be flexed, not relaxed, loose, but flexed. Then the muscles right here, flexed, and the wrist locked. And then the forearms, solid, flexed. This should be like steel. From here up, should be like war. Shoulders should relax as possible. So this is the yang, and this is the yin. We're punching, we're punching on a downward angle so that the knuckles make contact. See, the knuckles make contact. We're going to do like this, we're looking here. Right? If you have pinpoint accuracy, this is possible, but most people don't. And if you are slightly off, hitting here, that jaw could break your fingers. So, slightly down, never up here like this. When we punch above the shoulder, we have to turn the wrist this way. So we can keep the wrist locked. See, now we can fit this in the throat. We can fit this in the nose, right? We, we can fit this in the side. So above your shoulder, vertical fist, standing fist, also known as sun fist. Below your shoulders, this way. And we have in between, which is a 45 degree angle. It's actually the strongest. In here, 45 degree is the strongest. So we have one, two, one, below, two or above, and three is one plus two, so right in between. And you're right here, that's a solid punch. So this is the stronger punch. You should work all of them, but know their place. Every punch has a place. Now, okay, my say, girl, yes, we're doing this, you're punching slightly lower. Because of course, the groin area is more powerful than punching the stomach or solar plex. So when you do this punch, that's where you should be going. Right there, right? Most of you drop your weight. In the stance, you still drop your weight. You drop your weight, so your weight is going forward into the punch. Make sure that the elbows, elbows stay straight in alignment. Meaning what? They don't do this. See that? When I do this, the side putting my shoulder at risk, I have energy going this way, energy going that way. And then by the time I get out there, most of the energy has been dispersed. Right? I want everything going directly forward like an arrow. Lock. Legs relaxed. Spine straight. And exhaling, when you make contact, use your abdominal muscles. Tighten here slightly. So you use your time jump. Palm heel, using right here. The palm has to be flexed, and of course the wrist has to be locked solid. All right, because if it's too loose and you hit this way, you can damage your wrist. Damage all your tendons right here. All right, so it has to be solid. All right, when it goes out, look at my palm. It doesn't go out, it doesn't really go out this way. All right? It goes out this way. See that? It goes out and then pow. it's kind of like a missile. The missile's going out, it's not armed yet, and then the missile is armed. This way. From way out here, too much can happen. Too many counters, too many risks. So, when the hands comes this way, no one can tell what's coming. Is it a spear finger? Is it a punch? You can't tell what it is. So, you shift and chin, that's one. The nose, that's two. Nose is better than chin. You want to strike this bone this way, right here into the skull. 
Okay, that's how the palms are supposed to be used. The next way is on an angle, meaning what? Not this way, this way. When I strike from here, it pulls on the jaw of this side and it presses up in the jaw of that side, causing a knockout, right? Or dislocation of the jaw. It's the same. If I come this way, it's going to pull on this side and press up on that side. So your palm strike should be focused right here, right there, pushing this bone up into the skull, like that. Right, or on the side. In the KMSA drills, you practice going straight because it is a straight strike. But it can be a straight strike from here. See that? I'm still going to do this. It can be a straight strike from here. I'm still going to do that. Next, tiger strike. Once again, it goes out. Then it's armed. It locks on and pulls back. So you want to get this look, one thumb here. You see right there? See that? Locked. So you lock right here. One, three fingers here. Two, one in there. Can we do the other way? We can. Three fingers here, one here. But this is best. Thumb right here by the windpipe is right there. So what we're doing, we're actually striking. Is striking and then locking and then pulling in, right? So the two part strike. I'm flying forward, I'm making impact, then I lock on and I pull in. A lot of times this is a combination of it as I pull in, elbow. As I pull in, punch. As I pull in, upper punch. So it's used a lot of combinations also. The thing to remember that is that when it goes out, once again, it's a straight line. It's no elbow going out, right? Everything is going forward to ease, and then it arms, lock, pull in. When I pull in, bring your elbow here. When you strike, you go out, fingers are firm together, like this, fingers are firm together. Then you arm, you lock. When you lock, you have to lock the thumb and lock the fingers, all the hand muscles strongly, and you pull the elbow in right to here, close to your body. And when you do this, your wrist should be locked a lot more, forearm and your bicep. So, so it becomes like, a, like one solid muscle. So when you practice, you wanna make sure you're pulling in and you tighten and squeeze as you pull in. That's a tiger strike. Forward back fist. Again, striking the these two knuckles. Here, but slightly above, so it's going to come slightly down. What is the downward momentum? Right, so you're dropping your weight. You're, you're, you're dropping as you hit. The target is right here, right here, and right there. Right? Blow the nose, all right here. Blow the nose. And yes, you can also target the eye, a single eye. It's a powerful strike for an eye. So from here, you're dropping your weight down, dropping your weight down, dropping your weight down. Hands coming down, and I'm dropping my weight down. I have to make sure to twist, twist your wrist. You don't see this? Not like that. So my elbow's out. Once again, elbow has to come in. So there's alignment, and pow, right there. See that? Elbow coming in, and there. So focus on the elbow more than the fist. Elbow first, it's like a whip. The whip starts with your body. So your body, your shoulder, your elbow, forearm, and fist. If you focus only on fist, right? You're gonna miss stuff in between. So, in, in. Now, when I'm doing this, you see this happening sometimes, other hand is here. See that? Or the other hand is here. Or the other hand is here. Because it should be covered with combination. One, two. Or one, two. Even one, 
is to head up and then down to the two. Upper four. One, two, three. Pinky stays in tight. These three are the primary. It has to be firm in this position. So also called leopard's paw or rich knuckle strike. It's done close. Not from back here. You can drill this way, that's okay. But application is from here. It's a short, powerful strike. You don't have to wind up because it's going to a very vulnerable spot here. Short. So this can mean from breaking a grab. So when trying to grab, I break the hole right from here. One. Right. Right from there. Now, of course, everything comes in combination. Punches come in bunches. So when I do this, I can do one. Right there, the hip goes back. I can do two. Right, and I can do three. Drop a strike. Same with spear finger. So we drill from here. But if I was in this position, this is the hand I would use for spear finger. It's there. It's there. So let's say we're in a grappling situation. I'm grabbing. I can. And then. Right here, spare finger, and then follow through. See, then the other technique. And from here, either hand will work. I use this one, spare finger. Eyes go like this, head goes back, pulls the throat. Right from there, I can follow through. Push knuckle strike, full standing fist. Right in there. So, center punch. Palms, heel strike. Sorry, coming out, tiger strike. That was back fist, forward. All of these strikes come in combination. You must first develop an individual strike, then learn how to have them flow together. Right? Very good fist. Or sun punch. Now, blade hand, right? Go from here, I'm striking. Again, these are done from the middle range, meaning what? Not really from here. We drill from here, that's okay. But this is how you do it from here. So you can shift. 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 There it is. The attacking artery is right here. That's a powerful blow. You do this. You have to follow up. You do this. I do the palm strike coming at this angle. All right, pulling here, pressing here. Knock out. Air down. All right, see? Uh -huh. And then, pull the arm. So, blade, hand. Now, upper blade hand. Not like this. Not the karate way. This is powerful. The average person, a lot of pulling here. And if you're cold or older, that could be a problem. You have more leverage cutting it tight, short, coming here. Easy. So right, and you can do from here, or, or right, right, right from here, get out. Right from here, get out. That's it. So what you do? One, and then you can do. Then you can do. Single knuckle strike. This is the 
position. That's the stroke. In pipe. In pipe. Okay. Slide. Slide up the body. Right there. Slide up the body. Right there. Slide up the body. See that? Right there. So take your fingers, go like this, pressing. That's going to be feel what's there. You need to feel it so you know what you're striking for, right? You're striking to go through that. So it will be here. All right, so this is done. Remember, remember, close, coming straight up. Not too close, don't hit yourself. Right there. But when there's no room, so even I can do from here, I can do from here, right from here. What I can do is turn my hand, come right up, right up. Because what? Because this, this creates some space. When I do this, right, I'm gonna get this reaction. We should create this kind of space. And from here, I can do, which creates more space. And from there, I can do, which creates more space. And from there, I can do, of course, I got to be fast because they're going to be moving pretty fast. If someone here, this happens automatically, it happens quick. Overhead. Okay, or crescent moon, two knuckle strike. This is also close. I'm striking right here, right? Where the jaw meets the ear or the temples. Come this way, right? Come this way. So this is this kind of motion. This is a whip. This is a whip. Bye. Look, look. My body and my legs help. I'm not exaggerating. I'm just showing you a bigger move, but it's a small movement, small. Just enough to shift a little bit. So, two knuckle crescent moon strike. It's like a crescent moon. Right? That's good. You shift your body. Now, you came and say, we're doing more stands, right? So you gotta practice standing position and remember how to stand with the bend. Weights on the balls of your feet, even though the heels are flat, so you can shift easily, right? You can step a little bit, yeah. step a little bit out of the strike. Also, from here, from here, not this one, too easy to see, but too easy to block, too easy to counter. The one that's here is harder to see. So when I'm shifting, I shift this way, it's almost coming from behind them. See that? They cannot see that. So if I'm in a position where I have my left leg forward, right leg back, I'm not going to use the real human. At least not first. This one, see that? This one first is not seen. Then you follow up with the other hand. Right here, collarbone. You twist, you drop your body. So, it's this kind of whipping motion. Yes, it's used for striking, it's used for blocking, it's used for creating damage and pain. So, collarbone to first. Next is the neck. Over the neck, of course, it's a different angle because of the collarbone with the angle of the collarbone. So we're doing it exactly as we translate it in the two my safe drills, up and down. And then we can do next. It's up and down with an angle. See that? Up, down. Hold the strike. Descending palm. Similar. Descending palm is similar. We did palm here from here. Coming up. Now there's palm coming down. So from here, almost like Cobra Strike, it comes. I was going to do this so you can feel coming down. Right? That comes here. And not the body, it comes right here. So from here, it comes down. And the nose. You have to make sure 
the hitting of the palm heel, not the wrist. Okay, because some people have a tendency to do this. Is that the hitting of my wrist? No, that damaged me. So the angle has to be exact. It's down, right? On this angle, it's 45 degrees. It's coming down, but a little bit forward. So here, see that? So I still drop. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay. I can do that for a number of different applications. I can be opening up. So I'm going to try to grab, open up, come, open up, come down, and come up, and come go, and come out, and come in, and follow through. So remember, TMSA drills are the foundation of making sure the strikes are right. The next level is combining the strikes with blocks, meaning what? Outside block, forward strike, no block, single fist, single knuckle strike, All right? Inside block, upper punch. So you have to combine the yin and the yang, the blocking and the striking. And then you have to have combination of the strike. So to do that, you must practice the strikes first. You must make sure that you have the individual strikes exact. So you have quality strikes. So when you do spear finger attack, it's a real spear. You do two knuckle attack, you have flex knuckles, not loose knuckles. Okay. You do single knuckle strike, single knuckle fist, or feet inside fist, right? This is press solid, press solid, right? So you get that by being authentic in your practice. I mean, that you practice, you really practice. You make sure there's quality in your fist. You make sure there's focus. The breast coordinated. Your spirit is solid. You know what you're doing. You don't just do the punch with the same mentality as you're watching the show. Do the punch with the mentality, the spirit of actually doing damage. Okay, a warrior spirit. Then you're gonna have fire in your punch, in your strikes. Your strikes must have water and fire. 